Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. Firmly I believe, and truly, God is three, and God is one. And I next acknowledge surely manhood taken by the Son. And I trust and hope most fully in that manhood crucified. And each thought and deed unruly do to death as he has died. Simply to his grace and holy light and life and strength belong. And I love supremely, solely, him the holy, him the strong. Adoration I be given with and through the angelic host. To the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. They are happy who dwell in your house, Lord. How loud is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the cords of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring of their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays your young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They have you dwell in your house, forever sing your praise. They have you strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in sun. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts. Both now and forever. Amen. They are happy who dwell in your house, Lord. Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills. And all the nations shall flow to it and many people shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall decide for many peoples. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. 
Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory. And he's one as among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise. To be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. He's our majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and dance his cords. Worship the Lord in his temple. O oh, earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and let be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shall have a joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. What I learned without self-interest, I pass on without reserve. I do not intend to hide wisdom's riches, for she is an inexhaustible treasure to men, and those who acquire it win God's friendship, commended as they are to him by the benefits of her teaching. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. The church sings their praises. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The people tell about the wisdom of the saints. The learned will shine as brightly as the vault of heaven, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a rise, a mighty saviour, in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would freeze from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, to his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that free from fear, 
and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like a dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The learned will shine as brightly as the vault of heaven, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Christ the Good Shepherd laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise him with grateful hearts as we pray. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Christ our Lord, in the holy pastors you reveal your love for us. May we never be deprived of the care you show through them. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Through your sacred ministers, you are present in our midst as the shepherd of our souls. Never cease to guide us through their teaching and encouragement. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. In the saints who lead your people, you manifest your power of healing souls and bodies. Remain always with us to renew our lives in holiness. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. By the example of the saints, you instruct your faithful in the ways of wisdom and love. Through our pastors, help us grow to the full stature of perfection. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. At the Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty ever-living God, you gave Saint Anthony of Padua to your people as a preacher of great power and a patron in their needs. Grant that with his help we may follow a Christian way of life and feel your aid in all our trials. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil, 
and bring us to everlasting life.